Hey, this is Jamie at Useful Knowledge. Well, one of our viewers asked us to make a video on how to make pineapple jam. So we said, sure, we'll give it a shot. So stay tuned, we're gonna show you exactly how to make pineapple jam using two ingredients, pineapples and sugar. What I purchased was a can of crushed pineapple and a can of pineapple tidbits. Now both of these are in 100% pineapple juice. Do not purchase the ones that are already in heavy syrup. These are 20 ounce cans. We are going to drain the juice out of the pineapple tidbits, but we will not drain the juice out of the crushed pineapple. Okay, together these will make about four cups of pineapple. So with that, we are going to also use four cups of raw cane sugar. Now I use the organic raw cane sugar. You don't have to use the organic raw cane sugar. So the question will be, can I use fresh pineapple? Absolutely, you can use fresh pineapple. It's a lot more work but absolutely you can use fresh pineapple. Just use about four cups of fresh pineapple crushed. Okay, to get started, we wanna put seven eight ounce jelly jars in the oven and we wanna set the temperature to 250 degrees. Okay, we have our mason jars in the oven and we're gonna put seven mason jar lids into a small pot of water and we're gonna turn that on to low. So what we have here is I have got four cups of pineapple. Now I've used crushed pineapple and then some pineapple tidbits. And along with that, I'm going to use four cups of sugar. We're going to go ahead and dump those in. There's your pineapple. And as I said, I have some crushed pineapple and then pineapple tidbits. And you can get a fresh pineapple and cut all this up, but it's a lot easier to just get it canned. It's a lot faster. It's really not going to change your flavor of your jam. So we're going to mix this up. And we're going to turn it on to medium and get it heated up slowly. Okay, so one thing to note, I did drain the pineapple tidbits, but I did not drain the actual crushed pineapple. Okay, we've left this on the medium. As you can see, it's simmering quite well. And like I said, we do stir it often, but not constantly. Okay, we're going to give this a check, see if we're getting ready. We're going to let this cool for just a few minutes and then we're going to check it. Now you can put this in the refrigerator or the freezer for a few minutes and let it cool a little quicker. That's fine. Just don't leave it in there to where it freezes. Okay, I've kind of let this run all over to see if it's close. Let me show you this. That is very close. We're going to let this simmer for about two or three more minutes and we're going to can it. Okay, after we checked it, on our saucer, we've let this cook for about two or three more minutes and this is ready to go. You can see it's fairly thick. So we are going to turn it off and get ready to can it. Okay, so we're gonna use a canning funnel and we're gonna fill up these jars. And you want to fill the jar up to the very bottom of your canning funnel and that will give you about perfect head space. So our four cups of pineapple and four cups of all natural sugar yielded about five and a quarter mason jars of pineapple jam. So just a heads up there. We didn't know how much it was going to make. Thought it might make six to seven but it made about five and a quarter cups of, of jam is what we ended up with. So now what we're going to do, we are going to wipe off the very top, move this so you can see, we're going to wipe off the very top of these jars. And so what this does, if there's any jam that got on there, we're going to get that off so that we can get a good seal. Okay, so all we're going to do now is we're going to, we are going to get a lid. We're gonna dry it, not just dry it with a paper towel. We're gonna place it on each one of our jars. Okay, once we get our lids on, all that's left to do is put the band on. All right, once you get the band on, finger tight, then what you wanna do, you wanna grab this with a mitten because it's really hot and tight. We're gonna flip these over. Now, if you've seen my other videos, you know we're going to flip these over for about five minutes. 
Okay, it's been about five minutes and we are going to turn these over. And this pineapple jam is looking great. We will try it in the morning. Okay, so here in about 30 minutes, you will hear these jars start to seal. You'll hear a loud ping, you'll know they've sealed. Well, okay, it's the next morning. All of our jars are perfectly sealed. So we're gonna try one out. stuff looks really good okay well there's pineapple jam so we hope you gain some useful knowledge on how easy and fast it is to make homemade pineapple jam thanks for watching